As you can feel the temperatures is being regulated by the modern system of uh, HVAC, no more fans. So what's happening? They are sucking, yeah. sucking the water. Yes. It's kind of cool, but we are in the So it's regulated, but now it's at uh, So when we are going now, it's the receiving side whereby goods will be coming in through via those two doors. After that, they will move into the multi compartment. So, this is our paradigm. What do you think? Uh, your, your branch of the branch one. So, so why do you test the here? Why you why you call it in here? Why do you need to come three times a day? structures and conditions. So this is the condition that has been created. We are very happy as Manikaland to have uh, this project on and uh, we are looking forward to being of assistance in the work and through the storage of uh, uh, medicines that will be uh, dispatched and distributed to all government institutions in Manikaland and in the whole country. So we are very grateful to the president for creating an environment where the government can work well with my partners. We have, we, we have had partners assisting in the coming up of this uh, project, the uh, government coming in in a big way. And uh, here we are with a project like this. And uh, we are so, so, so elated that it will be commissioned very soon by the H my, my name is Mashanga Ebet. I am the current uh, operations manager at, at Art Farm. Yeah, as you can see, we have uh, just seen the, the massive uh, uh, warehouse which has just been completed by UNDP. We are very much happy to, to, to see the minister accompanying us here. And uh, where we are right now, we are just waiting for the access road. As, uh, as we have just seen, we are discussing the issue. Responsible authorities, and uh, it's good that they promised that the road is going to be it's going to be constructed very very soon. And once the road is constructed, once it is ready for use, I'm sure commissioning will be done by His Excellency, as already alluded by by the, by the, the resident minister. And I'm quite also glad to advise that we are very soon initiating the licensing process with our own medicines from both doctors, public. Once that approval is up, the way also will be actually read to go and everything. Thanks. I'm Dr. Fonte, currently in the office of the Commission of the Electric Manipulation. As you have seen, we told this huge or massive project under construction by our government, working with our partners with the UNGP and the local government. I'm sure from the National Human Strategy Fund, we know that so as you can see, this way around the for storing medicines, which will be used in the living of the country, but most days will be targeting particular medical aid and shingle. Uh it's your way, medical aid will come and get away outside the world to put the food in the post that we there. So some of our shipping is coming to the era and we store. This will improve the access of the European by 
Mar, a ocupado de la vida 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 And what are you some of what are some of the challenges that you are facing before the election? Before the establishment of this, uh, we are also here to collect our medicines from Iran. And we all know how challenging it is in terms of traffic, the delays which we are accompanied by that. But now we are having that family here. We are going to be here to have a local point when it's a nearby our facilities are close to all the same. So there will be easy access of medicines, there will be easy of distribution of these medicines to our